A reaction profile shows how the energy of a chemical reaction changes over time. There are two axes. Uh, the y-axis is energy and the x-axis is time. This line represents the energy of the reactants. And this line represents the energy of the products. The energy of the products is lower than the energy of the reactants because this is an exothermic reaction and energy is released into the surroundings. There is a hump or a line with a hump here and the distance from the reactants to the top of this hump is labelled as the activation energy. This is the energy that is needed to start the reaction. It's really important that this arrow starts in line with the reactant line and goes upwards all the way to the top of the peak to show the activation energy. We can also show the change in energy for the reaction. That's the distance from the line of the reactants down to the line of the product. So we draw an arrow down here and this is the energy change of the reaction. Again, it's really important that these arrows are drawn exactly as you see here. The bottom of this is in line with the reactants and goes to the top of the peak. And this is starts on the reactant line and goes down to be in line with the products. For an endothermic reaction, the reaction um, energies are the other way around. So this time, the energy of the reactants is below the energy of the products. The reason for this is because energy is absorbed from the surroundings and locked up as chemical potential energy. The reaction uh, graph still looks the same. So there's a line here all the way up to the top. Again, we call this the activation energy. So that arrow needs to go from being in line with the reactant line all the way to the top of the peak. And we call this the activation energy. And then a, the other line goes from the reactants to the products. So in line with the reactant line and up to and touching the product line. And this is the energy change for this reaction.